Good evening and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am Ani Fat Ismail. The news headlines. Fair government to set up command and control center to check irregular migration. IFC CBN signed deal to boost local currency financing in Nigeria. Youth reorientation, community development, my top priority, says new president, Elarin and Women Initiative. I'm good old action against share butter tree cotton, exports of raw share notes. Nigeria government moves to boost food production to tame inflation. Fair government to ban wooden boats on inland waterways. Pandev set up reconciliation committee to resolve Wiki Fubara feud. And on sport, Man United sack coach Eric Ten Ag. Now, the news in details. The federal government on Monday said it will soon establish a command and control center to check irregular migration into the country. Minister of Interior, Dr. Olubumi Tunji Ojo, disclosed this at the induction ceremony for operational officers of the command and control center for regular migration. He said Nigeria is at the center of migration management within the sub-region and does not have the luxury that some countries have because of our geographical location. The International Finance Corporation and the Central Bank of Nigeria have announced an agreement to scale up local currency financing, unlocking over $1 billion investment across key sectors of the Nigerian economy. The agreement signed by ISC Managing Director Muhar Diop and CBA Governor Yemi Kadoso will provide narrow based financing to sectors such as agriculture, infrastructure, housing, energy, small and medium enterprises, and Nigeria's youth and creative industries. The Ilari Anchor Men and Women Initiative held its third annual general meeting and Andover ceremony, marking a significant moment in the organization's history. Dr. Musa Alabi Abdullahi, the outgoing president, presented a report on the accomplishment of his administration and transferred leadership to the newly elected executive team. Abdullahi highlighted key achievement to include the empowerment of youth in fisheries and poultry training, which culminated in the certification of 82 participants. Other initiatives included financial support for students in tertiary institutions, contributions to medical aid, securing national youth service course postings, and facilitation of admissions for members' words. The outgoing administration also initiated proposals for long-term projects, including constructing a permanent secretariat and providing portable water to needy communities. The ceremony featured a guest lecture by Alaji Babatunde Salami, who spoke on exploring the economic potential of Elarin. Reflections on the past, present, and future. In his acceptance speech, President Abdubaki Jima expressed gratitude to the members for entrusting him with their leadership. He emphasized the importance of unity and transparency, highlighting the organization's role in youth reorientation and rehabilitation. 
He also reformed the Alsatian's commitment to fostering economic and social development within a Lauren community. Temi Tokbe Amujo, CEO of Amgod Global Network, has urged both federal and state government to support the struggling shea butter industry valued at $2.5 billion, which is now threatened by the emergence of shea nodes as a substitute for cocoa in chocolate production. Amujo said, while shea butter export is valued over $2.5 billion annually for Nigeria, the nuts used to produce it do not hold similar worth. He stated this during the company's 10th anniversary celebration in Ilorin, Kwara State, while cautioning that exporting raw materials could lead to job losses. Yeah, today we are celebrating Jimpori. We are celebrating Jimpori users. We are celebrating Jimpo globally. Um, Jimpori is um, a natural shea butter brand made in Kwara State and a, a Nigerian product that has been in existence for 10 years. So today we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of Jimpori. And at the same time, we are also celebrating babies that are using the product, which we have been doing every year. And this is the eighth edition of the um, uh, event, um, that's the contest, which is called Cute Baby, um, Cute Baby uh, contest. contest. So this is season eight. So, but this year we are 10 years because the product launched into market in um, 2014. So we're celebrating the two together. So it's a two in one event for today. Yeah, Shea Butter is one of um, the brands that has uh, the natural, renewable natural resources that has the potential to um, eradicate poverty among the rural dwellers, especially those communities within the Shea Belt. However, we are facing a lot of challenge today, and I'm happy that the gentlemen of the press are here to cover with us. One of the challenges we're facing is that Shea Butter, the tree, it comes from the Shea tree, um, which takes 30 years before it starts fruiting. The one challenge we're having is that it has been facing, it's been an endangered species of tree that has been cut down significantly by um, charcoal exporters, which is one of our challenge. But then we, we at uh, Amgood Global Network, because we are industry player, we believe in completeness and not competition. So we came up with an initiative which was um, initiated by our managing director, which was called Shave the Share. The Save the Share was initiated in 2018 to discourage the cutting down of share tree with the support of National Orientation Agency. We were able to go around communities to stop the cutting down of share tree for charcoal production. We fought the battle to some extent and we were able to overcome. But recently, we have another battle which is coming in a new direction. However, when we fought the battle for share uh, cutting, we also set up a farm that uh, a share plantation because we believe it is not only about cutting it there is a natural resources that nobody plants so we work with um, research institute to set up um, a demonstration farm, farm in Kayama local government where we want to see how we can plant and start harvesting in seven years as against the normal 30 years when we planted these the Fulani Earthsmen and the likes have, um, had a lot of um, invaded into the farm and less than 50 percent of the plants survived we are still battling with that challenge, but recently, Shea Nut is now another endangered species for exportation. The event also featured the launch of new product, Women Empowerment Initiative and Scholarship Award for winners of the Cute Baby Competition for Babies Using Shea Butter Products. The company also recognized outstanding staff with four millionaire awards aiming to inspire excellence among employees. As Mr. Adedoyin Olajide received two millionaire as the overall best staff. Without God, this thing cannot be possible. But I, I, I'm very, very excited for this. And uh, I appreciate my GM, starting from my GM, from my, from my crew, uh, from my members, my team members also in logistics, because is this a this is a great great blessing from God. I really appreciate my MD, my chairman, everybody that supported me to become this be a great day. My family too. 
Adedo in his reaction expressed gratitude for the recognition, viewing it as an encouragement to continue contributing to Amugod Global Network. In a bid to tackle inflation and ensure food security, the FAR government is intensifying efforts to increase food production in the country. Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edu, in his remarks at the Nigerian delegation's wrap-up press briefing during the 2024 IMF World Bank annual meetings in Washington, D.C. on Sunday, stated that the government is focusing on collecting the wet season harvest and identifying small-scale farmers to ensure a good dry season harvest. The Fair government, through the National Inland Waterways Authority, has said it is moving towards phasing out wooden boats on inland waterways. Speaking during the interaction, which focused largely on the safety of the waterways and the expansion of water travel, Oyebamiji expressed that wooden boats constituted over 90% of boats on the waterways. He said they accounted for the majority of accidents on the waterways nationwide. The Pan Niger Delta Forum, PANDEV, led by the South South leader, Chief Edwin Clark, has set up a high level peace and reconciliation committee to mediate on and resolve the lingering crisis between the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory and some wiki and Governor Simfubara of River State. In a communique issued at the end of its special general assembly meeting held in Port Harcourt, Pandev said the reconciliatory committee is also saddled with the responsibility of nipping in the board of the sports and conflicts within the area. The last on the news is sport. Premier League club Manchester United has sacked Eric Ten Hag as a club manager, a club statement released on Monday Review. The club also said former player Ruth Van Nistelrooy would take charge as the interim coach. And that will be all on Just Event Online News at 9. Here's a recap of the story. Federal government to set up command and control center to check irregular migration. IFC, CBN signed deal to boost local currency financing in Nigeria. Youth reorientation, community development, my top priorities, says new president. Ilari Anka Men and Women Initiative. I'm going to urge action against share butter tree cotton, exports of raw share notes. Nigerian government moves to boost food production to, to tame inflation. Fire government to ban wooden boots on inland waterways. Pandev set up reconciliation committee to reserve Wiki Fubara feud. Man United, Sag Coach Eric Ten Ag. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News. When you find yourself down a ladder of life, never wait for people to pick you up. Brother, put yourself together and find a way forward. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read my updates. Follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on Just Event Online at gmail.com.
I have an infant. It's smart him to have a good night rest. <laughs>